Hello everyone! Today's video is a tutorial. We're going to tell you how to properly connect power supplies to electronic circuits. We will tell you what an electronic load is and why the output of your power supply and the input of your load when applied to your electronic circuit is often not equal to each other and what connection wires you need to use. And all this is in practice. Practical application is especially interesting, so share this video with your friends who might find it useful. In this video we will tell you how to properly connect the power supply. Seems simple, right? However, an eagle eye viewer of our previous video notices a slight difference in the readings between the display of the power supply. Here we see 5 volts and on the electronic load here we see 4.67 volts. At first glance, this was a question of the accuracy of the power supply itself. To be sure about this APS7306, let's see what spread of power supply readings are possible at the output from the value set on the indicator. For this purpose, our website has a special service for generating values, taking into account the accuracy of the power supply. We enter the value of 5 volts and see that, taking into account the accuracy, values from 4.955 volts to 5.045 volts are possible. Let's check the real-life values of the output voltage of the power supply using the Actacom AM1060 digital multimeter. However, the voltage at the input of the electronic load is 0.3 volts less than at the output of power supply APS7306. Looking further for the voltage difference? We measure the voltage on the wires and we get about half of the losses on each of the two wires. Having replaced the wires, we see that the difference in readings 5 volts on the display of APS7306 power supply and 4.94 volts on the electronic load has decreased significantly. So now, it is clear to us, we have losses in the wires when a large current flows. Let's repeat the measurements of the losses on the wires. They remain, but their value is significantly less. Therefore, it is important to choose short and thick wires to connect the power supply to your device. To test the power supply in this video, we used an electronic load. So now is a good time to briefly introduce you to this device. Electronic load is an electronic device designed to simulate different operating modes of load while testing power supplies. Electronic load contains stabilizer, current flow and voltage tester as well as a number of other ancillary units. The stabilizer provides various operating modes of the load current stabilization CC, voltage stabilization CV, power stabilization CW or resistance stabilization CR. The electronic load in your laboratory is the most important device when regulating and studying power supplies of all types. The most popular loads are available on our website. Thank you for watching the video. We hope it was useful for your work. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and to turn on the bell so you don't miss our next training course. Bye bye and see you later!